rid of those. I do have enough now for a perfect emerald, so we are halfway there with gems, which is always nice. Oh, what am I doing? Those need to go back in there, so I just need the, uh, need one more flawless of each the sapphire, amethyst, and diamond. And this is only my second Talrune. These can go in there with this. I will use Hurt's Leg eventually. I know it's been there forever. I do have to defeat Bale, though. I've probably br brought that up enough so that people remember. But still, I will take care of it. Still kind of upset that I put a chip diamond in there, but as you can see, I go through chipped stuff like they're nothing. So, it's not that bad. Not that bad. Alright, give me all my money back. And, ugh, still have like no money. Not even three quarters of a million dollars yet. Infernal Pit, no. Frozen Tundra. Pick, pick up the Fusina. It could be good. It could be good. You never know. Of course, since it's blue, I can't bring it to, uh, to Larzuk. Um, uh, what I'm probably going to do is wait for a really good item uh, that's nightmare level that is just plain white and give that to Larzuk and just hope he gives me the right amount of sockets, uh, barring that, I'll just give him probably my, uh, my weapon here, my War Scepter, and however many sockets he puts on that will work for me, and, uh, and I'll put uh, probably a couple runes or the perfect skull on the, on the weapon. I, I do love putting the skull on the on weapons, because then I can get both life and the back per kill, or per hit, actually. Even better than per kill. I think it's like 6% though. Not, nothing too bad. Nothing too good, but... It's better than nothing. Always better than nothing. Uh, yeah, the, the perfect topazes though, I would recommend putting in so you can get the... Uh, God. So that you can get the... Uh, the, the items, the magic items bonus that they have, I, I think you have to put that on a on armor in order for that to happen. Like body armor. If it says armor, you have to assume it's a body armor. Uh, and it's not like, oh, put it on your, your helm. It doesn't work that way. Helms are of their own category. They're not considered armor for whatever reason. They're considered helms. Uh, I, I think that's kind of specific, but that's just me. More Crush Beasts. Yeah, from here on out, uh, I think these are actually the last ones that we are going to see is in this area. And I will be happy to get rid of them. Is it good? Three to Battle Orders. That could be really good. I do need another scroll of Identify if I can remember to pick one up the next time that I see one. That's always nice, because I'm sure that I miss a lot of them. Oh, there he is. I'm like, where is this Crush Beast? I saw the fire, but I did not see the beast. Alright, let's open up. Oh, we are at the top, so this is not nearly as big as the area at Plateau, like I thought. Or at least it doesn't feel as long. It could be as long, uh, but it doesn't feel like it's as long because I just started the session instead of thinking about ending it. And, of course, there's always going to be a group of enemies hanging out right outside the part where you need to enter. There's usually an evil urn here, like that one right there. Just a key. Sure, I'll pick it up. Let's finish everything else around here first before I uh, hit the evil urn. Because uh, the last thing you want to do is uh, take on some, some hard enemies and then be surrounded by weak enemies that you've aggroed from where you haven't already been. You know what I mean? So let's finish up everything here. God, when they are running, it's like, it's not only hard to hit them, it's hard to even target them at times. Just not based on their erratic patterns, you know? They've got... Just die. Die. There we go. Got him. Hit that corpse, and now it's back to the evil urn. Elizir, catch up. Here you are. Really? Nothing? Oh, he suck. And he didn't even give me a good item. Crack small shield. To the ancient's way! There are many ancients, as that apostrophe shows us. <laughs> but we kind of already knew that. 
Uh, they, they've been saying the ancients the entire time. That's rude. Evil urn with arrows. That did uh, summon some enemies for us. Some frozen scourge. I don't see where the special one is. There he is. He's to my right. Light spell. Down he goes. All right, he had a pile of them on him. And three. And then pick up whatever was here. Like I said, anything above like a light mana potion is going to be enough mana for me because I have so little mana. So I do not care. Greater, super, whatever. There's no point in me getting anything higher uh, on purpose. If they drop it, I will pick it up because you never see miners in there. Not at this point in the game. Not at this point. And uh, hopefully we are done with the demons. I think we have finished them off, to be honest with you. I could be wrong, though. I could always be wrong, because the, the enemy choices are wrong. Uh, to, to some extent, that you know, they have a list of, of what can show up. And usually only two or three per, per area, to be honest with you. So these moon lords, the, the creepers, and the, uh, the brawlers, whatever, whatever their name is. The subterranean miners. These guys, death slashers, they're called now. I don't remember if that's an upgrade or not. Because, to be honest, they're, they're not that tough to start with, and they're just annoying. So, I, I don't always keep track of that. Dead end. Hooray. That's exactly what I was looking for. I'm heading to the bottom right again. Hopefully I can find uh, some something here. Be at the waypoint, uh, the way to the... Uh, to the secret, if there is a secret optional dungeon, um, or the way to the uh, well, Mount Ariat Summit. To the Icy Cellar, that is the optional dungeon. I figured there was one in here. I remember there being another one of those. And anything good. Bearded Axe, that is actually very good. That is another nightmare level item. Do I? Yeah, I don't have anything in here. Sweet. And then, uh, I still need a scroll of identify. I bet I passed one, too. I bet I passed a couple. Bearded Axe, though. That is what I wanted. Bearded Axe. It is an upgraded large axe. Why it's considered bearded, I don't know. Maybe it's this, you know, this bottom part of the axe blade right there. That's all that I can assume that it means. It doesn't look like a beard to me, though. I've never, I've never looked at a and acts like it had a face. That's just that's just me. To the icy cellar. We need to not go that way because that's nothing. We need to head over here and try to find the secret chest. That is our that is our goal. Well, we've got harlots and, and abominables. Oh, frozen abysses. Sorry, they are not abominables anymore. Like frozen abysses. There's a scroll to identify. You can't hide that from me. You probably could, but not that one. Uh, one to two fire damage. That is one of the worst ones that you can find. Hooray! That would be sold because I don't, I don't have room for anything else. One thing that you could do, and I might do, is bring as many charms as I can hold in my stash, and then uh, with the final fight uh, or any boss fight, br put them in your inventory. So, so that you have as much of a bonus as you can possibly get when you fight the boss. Uh, I might do that, uh, but there are a lot of items that lead up to the boss, uh, so I might forget. Uh, there's, it's a long process to get this boss out. Uh, longer than Diablo. Longer than Diablo. Let's go back to Haragath. I am full now. Um, you thought it took a while to get Diablo to come out? No. <laughs> no. Stay a while and listen. Getting the final boss here is going to take forever. Like, literally, he's just standing there and summoning enemies for you to fight, and you can't fight him. It's just annoying. Alright, uh, no. I mean, I want it, but no. Yeah, 1% better chance of getting magic items, or plus 3 to 93 to attack rating. I'll take the attack rating. That's crap. That's even worse crap. Uh, I'll hold on to that because I don't have any other charms right now. Then you can go there, you can go there. Plus six to maximum damage is crap. Oh, it doesn't even sell that well. Neither did that. What the hell? How dare you not give me good items to sell? That's the only reason that I came 
<sighs> That's the only reason that I go down there is for good items, really. That and completionism. <laughs> the inner completionist in me must be satisfied. And I think Al Hazir is still poisoned. That's how long poison can last. So good there we go. Did it not heal him? Okay, maybe. What? That makes no sense to me. Damn it, Prowling Dead, go away. I'm surprised that we don't have anything cold. No cold damage right now. I will definitely need to get that if I can. I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna try to focus on it, but, you know, cold damage is, is the best in this game. When, it, when you're doing it, it slows everything else down. I mean, sure we're in a spot here where, you know, cold damage isn't gonna be that great because of these guys who, you know, have resistances to cold, but still. Still, falchion, long war bow. I will take it. I don't think I used anything now. And those are all healings. That was a lot of things I dropped out of there. Nothing particularly good though. Another I show? No, okay. Uh, you can go in there, and you guys can go in there, and then hopefully that's enough. That is enough room. Sweet. Nothing particularly exciting in there, but. I can always sell them stuff. And I can always double check before the end, see if there's anything good that they might have in town for me to waste all my money on. If not, you know, I can always just keep the money. <laughs> Surely that'll count for something at the end of a normal run, how much money you have. Of course, everything transfers over between runs. I don't think I've gone over that before. Uh, whatever you have on your character stays with you bet between uh, your runs. So everything that I I'm going to have at the end of this run, if I started up another um, if I started up another run on Nightmare with the same character, he's going to have all the stuff that I had in Nightmare when I beat it. I mean, just like any time else that you you boot up a new game you still have all your stuff uh, on the character so it all transfers over including the money everything in your stash everything on your person everything just transfers over which is which is awesome uh, but this character like I said is probably never going to see nightmare at all I'm just going to skip straight to uh, straight to my multiplayer character who is uh, still working on uh, the end of Nightmare, and then uh, we'll get started with hell. But right now, all my time is devoted to uh, the single-player normal campaign, trying to get this done in time, so I haven't had time to, uh, to finish off uh, Nightmare difficulty yet, but I will get there. I will get there. There might be a little bit of a delay between videos. In fact, I almost guarantee that there's going to be some kind of delay uh, between Diablo videos, uh, especially before we get to Diablo 3. I do plan on doing the Hell Run before I do Diablo 3. Give everybody at least a few days to uh, to play the game uh, for themselves before I start releasing my videos of it. Uh, the last thing I want to do is uh, publish videos and then have people that were actually playing the game for themselves. Are you still poisoned? Uh, you know, get upset that I that I posted spoilers or I'm further in the game than them or anything like that. So I'll at least give it, you know, a few weeks. You know, I'm, I, I, of course I'm gonna finish uh, the hell run first, and that'll that'll definitely take a few weeks to get through uh, before before I start uh, Diablo 3 and that should give anybody that's um, you know trying to go through the game for their first time at least ample time to get past to, to you know to keep ahead of me if not finish it on a normal difficulty for themselves and we found the waypoint here hooray let's go back to Haragath he's still poisoned that's gotta be a glitch now uh, there's no way that he's been poisoned this long. Nobody's poison is that bad. Greetings. Especially since Mala can't heal it, apparently. So that's got to be some kind of glitch that he's on. I don't know if it's a... Like a that it's a glitch that he's actually being poisoned, or it's just a glitch that um, it looks like he's being poisoned. I can't tell either way. I didn't pick up anything that's particularly good, but hopefully the ring... That ring will sell for damn good. 12% chance of a level 4 spell. I'll sell for what? Like 9,000? Ah, 5,000. 
That's better than any of them hiring so far, but a 12% chance of casting Nova just doesn't seem worth it for me. Of course, I don't have any... Wait, Nova is the... Uh, is the ice spell, isn't it? No, that's ice Nova. Ah, I forget. See, that still doesn't heal him. I don't know what's going on with him. Let's go back to the ancient way. Of course, yeah, at least one thing that, that casts cold on either you or your mercenary. Preferably both is always the best way to go if you can. If you can't, well, it's not too too bad, but it's always preferable to have that since it does freeze everything when you do cold damage. Most things. Not everything, but it does freeze your enemies. Except for these guys, for instance. I don't think these guys can be frozen because they're already frozen. They can't be refrozen. That's just unsanitary. Uh, nothing. And it takes all the flavor out of it. Uh, this is the way to Ariat Summit, which is where we need to go. But let me finish exploring. I, did, I was too busy looking at the mini-map to notice that you guys were even standing there. Uh, there shouldn't be too much more of this. Uh, then we can head to the summit. Uh, I will probably need to uh, prep for the summit a little bit. Hopefully I can do it on my first run uh, without prepping. If if not, then I can always go back and, and prep again. I, I, it's not that I'm scared of dying, but there's this little special trick that they put into the summit up there that I've never been that big of a fan of, but I completely understand why they would do it. Anything good over here just scourges. Moonlord, where the hell are you? Brand of stock. What am I doing? That, I have plenty of room. I just started. Didn't pick anything up yet, so of course I have plenty of room. Alright, this apparently goes on forever. Maybe there's a second uh, optional dungeon down here somewhere. Alright, what's on the evil urn? Scourges and a pike. Or enchanted. Damn you, Pulse Fester. Down he goes. And I'm out of mana. And they didn't drop any mana. How dare you? How dare you? So I'll just wait for it to go back up, hopefully. It'll get back up before I need to use it again. Claws, really? Ha! Ah, you missed with the fireball. Fireball. Firebolt. Either way, you missed with it. This place, yeah. Okay, there's this whole other section over here that either leads to nowhere or a section second optional dungeon. There's that's the only two things that it can be. But we are getting very close to the end of this game. Well the normal <laughs> the end of the act. So hopefully I don't encounter too many more difficulties in the game. Uh, because Whoa, 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 I almost died there. That was the first time in a long time I almost died. But these Death Slashers were teaming up on me. That's not fun. So now I need one potion of each whenever I get the chance. Yeah, a whole bunch to this, uh... To this area that doesn't seem to really lead anywhere, and he's still... Yeah, it's obviously some kind of glitch or something. I don't know if he's actually poisoned, or if he's uh, glitched and it just looks like he's poisoned. Yeah, these places, they're, they're huge. The Ancient's Way is huge. So let's try to explore over here a bit, if I can. That's a hell shrine. I was kind of going for... But I don't need mana either. Alright, so let's head this back over here. And head up here. I thought this I thought there was a lot less of this to explore, to be honest with you. But the game keeps on trying to take everything I think and prove it wrong. As it would do, because it's random. You can't predict randomness. You can try all you want, but you can't do it. You don't have the power! Alright, we need to take on these guys because they almost killed them last time. That's that's why these guys can be especially annoying. Because you can't hit them, but they can hit you from quite a distance. And I got a full heal. Another level up. Good lord. 
Alright, we'll put everything into there again. And one more into concentration. So now it's up to 360%. That's an insane... That's an insane amount of damage that we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay. Yeah, that was good. That was a good little run there. And now we're starting to clear out all this middle part here. We are getting close, finally, to finishing this place off. Uh, where, where did that come from? Who said you could live? Did I get it? I think I did. He, yeah, he's not... I don't think he's poisoned. But I refuse to leave the game and come back just to check. Well, if I left the game and came back, he wouldn't be poisoned anymore. But I refuse to do that, just because it shows that he's poisoned. He might die soon anyway. We are starting to get towards the end of the act, and the end of the act is always tougher than the beginning. So you never know. He could not make it, especially with a uh, couple of the boss fights. A couple of the boss fights can be tough. Hopefully he does live, though. Especially especially the next one. The next one's a lot easier if your mercenary lives, let me tell you. Because then he can tank for you. And me. Mostly me. You don't do crap around here. <laughs> well, you do, but... It doesn't show in the videos, but I do appreciate it. <laughs> Alright, everybody die. All you death slashes. Yeah, I always appreciate comments and that kind of stuff. Uh, I haven't been getting as many comments lately as I used to. Uh, I assume that's because everybody's trying to concentrate on schoolwork right now. We are getting close to uh, to finals and all that kind of stuff. I assume that there's uh, projects that need to be done, all that good stuff. Of course, I'm not in school anymore, so I don't know. Do I really need to go like all the way around this way? I think there was a faster way, and I just missed it. Uh, so, hopefully, things are, are are going well for you. If you need if you need help, I can try to help you. But if you guys uh, like ask too many things, then I'm not going to be able to do it. But if you ask me something simple that maybe Google can't answer for you, I could probably help you out. I went to high school once, like one day. That was all I went. Okay, to the Ariad Summit. Let's go. And as you can see, we've been locked the summit, from the The Barbarian Holy Ground. Yes, the Holy Ground. Consult with the Ancients by activating the Altar of the Heavens. Okay. As you can see, the Ancients' way has now been barred from, from us from ever going through there again. Altar of the Heavens. Here are the Ancients. Uh, let's point them out. We have Korlik the Protector. We have Modok the Guardian, and we have Talek the Defender. What's on the other side over here? We have the way to the World Stone Keep, which is where we were told the Bale was, which means we are getting very close to the end here. Altar of the Heavens, speak to me. We are the spirits of the Nephilim, the ancient ones. We have been chosen to guard sacred Mount Ariad, wherein the World Stone rests. Few are worthy to stand in his presence. Fewer still can comprehend his true purpose. Before you enter, you must defeat us. Can do. Uh, the, the, the trick with this one is that you can't leave. You have to defeat them in, in one go. You, you can't go anywhere. Alright, down goes one. I didn't see which one that was. Uh, Korlik is down, trying to take on Tal Talik now. He's kind of a barbarian. Right. And down goes Talik. And down goes Modok. We augment your skill and grant you entry to the interior of Mount Ariat, wherein lies the world stone. Beware, you will not be alone. Bail. The Lord of Destruction is already inside. The Archangel Tyrion has always been our benefactor, but even he cannot help us now. For Bale blocks Tyrion's spiritual presence from entering the chamber of the World Stone. Only you 
Mortal, have the power to defeat Bale now. Bale threatens the world stone, and through it, the mortal realm itself. You must stop him before he gains full control of the sacred stone. With it under his control, Bale could shatter the boundaries between this world and the burning hells, thus allowing the hordes of the prime evils to pour forth into the mortal realm like an unstoppable tide. If you are weak, the world as you know it could be lost forever. You must not fail. No pressure. But we have defeated the, the Ancients. That was a lot easier than it has been for me in previous runs. I made that look pretty easy, if I might say so myself. Quest completed, and now... Eve of Destruction find Bale's throne room. But they gave, they pretty much gave us a level up, which I'm going to use for vitality and another point into concentration. Surprise, surprise. So, we are ready now, and they have opened... Well, okay, we still have to open the gate, but they have opened up the way to the World Stone Keep. Now, this place, once again, huge! So, this could take us a while. Uh, hopefully, I can get through it... Uh, fairly quickly as always. Uh, vile witches, they're not, well they're more upgraded harlots and we have fetid defilers, upgraded defilers. Uh, everything up in here is going to be an upgrade if I remember correctly. Uh, but I don't think there are demons in here which is nice to be done with those guys. Just like the beetles, happy to be rid of them. We need to keep going and find Oh, more defiled warriors. These guys, yeah, they they will be here for pretty much the whole time that we're in the World Stone Keep, uh, as you can see. Uh, ow. Now, I want that to go away. I used three mana potions? I thought I only used two. No, just a pile of them. Doing a combat shrine. Uh, the... The Ancients can be tough. Uh, they can be tough, definitely. Um... The problems that I usually have are when my Blessed Hammer misses, they start teaming up on me. As you can so as you guys probably saw, one of the Ancients wasn't even attacking me throughout that whole fight. That was that was weird. Um, usually, uh, usually I, I have Al Hazir tank for one of them, and I attack whatever one he's he's attacking, and try to to take at least one off that way. Once you get one done, then it's then it's a little bit easier. Well, pretty easy after that, but, uh, huh, I don't remember picking that up. They don't drop anything, not good for level grinding at all, there's very few spots here that are good for level grinding, the only spot that I can think of is, um, at the beginning of Act 5, if you go, uh, to the, the first waypoint, um, after the Bloody Foothills, and then you go backwards from there, to find uh, Shank the Overseer and then kill him. That's the only spot that I can think of. That's like, okay, that's a that's a that's a decent spot for level grinding. And the only reason is because well, he he's like a special and he drops good items and he's relatively easy to find uh, once you have the waypoint that's right behind him. That waypoint is in the same spot all the time. I wish I could remember the name of the uh, of the area after the Blade Hills, but. I'm pretty sure you guys know which one that is.